Hey guys, this is CoolBHO3K, and this time I've managed to overclock the Motorola Zoom from 1 GHz to 1.5 GHz. So let's jump right in. As you can see, it's at 1 GHz now, but we can use that CPU to set it all the way to 1.5 GHz. Now, um, I've noticed some pretty substantial increases uh, in both real-world performance and in benchmarks, like you'd expect from a 50% overclock. Um, but uh, let's have the benchmarks speak for themselves. Um, all right, so in quadrant, we get about 48, uh, 47 megaflops um, at the overclock 1.5 gigahertz speed. So um, let's test it now at stock speeds at 1 gigahertz. I've also included steps for 1.4 and 1.2 gigahertz, by the way, if you don't feel like overclocking that high. So with stock speeds, I'm getting about 36. So it's quite a big increase in Limpack as well. About 36 to 48 megaflops in Limpack. Let's test quadrant now at the maximum speed of 1.5 gigahertz. Now just because the zoom has been overclocked doesn't mean it'll be easy to overclock the other Tegra 2 devices because they do use different drivers. Um, the zoom is Google based and the other devices are based on a kernel from NVIDIA, which is a bit more confusing to modify so far. Now keep in mind this is 1.5 gigahertz going through not just one core but two Cortex-A9 cores, which is going to actually be in the real world uh, sub substantially faster than a, a single core processor. Um, so for Quadrant, we're getting about 2854 on 1.5 gigahertz. Um, I'm not sure if my camera is going to focus on that, but it is 2854. Um, you can see how much longer that bar is than the preset Nexus 1 uh, bar, which is at the top here. Now we can try quadrant at 1 gigahertz. The Tegra 2 is a pretty good overclocker, uh, as you can tell by the 50% increase, but also it didn't need that much of a voltage, of a voltage increase to actually get there. And all the kernel sources and, and uh, uh, binary for the kernel that you can actually go and flash are, will be in the description. So you can go ahead and grab that and test this for yourself. So at 1 gigahertz, we're reading about 2153 for quadrant. So that's quite a difference from 2153 to about 2800. And also keep in mind that quadrant not only tests the CPU, but other things that aren't really affected by the CPU clock, like graphics and file system uh, performance. So you're not going to see that much of an increase from quadrant, but we still saw quite an increase from 2100 to 2800 about. All right, um, I've also updated set CPU for dual core um, compatibility. Uh, so any version from 2.1.1 onwards will support dual core. Um, and uh, that's about it. Uh, um, everything will be in my description, um, the instructions and the kernel and even the source code for the overclock. Uh, see you guys later and enjoy your supercharged zooms.